Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the Strayed Tonto Folding Knife. The number on this one is 102. Kind of a cool little knife in the budget range, $17.95 currently on BladeHQ.com. We're going to do a quick overview of this blade and compare it to my Delica because that's what I've got in my pocket today. And uh, it's a pretty good comparison just to kind of give you an idea of different knives that are out there. Like I said, this is a budget folder. Strayed makes all of their stuff in China, made by Taylor Brands. And uh, they've just rebranded. I think I'm kind of stoked on Strayed today because they've, they've got this new box color scheme. And uh, it seems like they've got some cool designs coming out right now, which I think is great. Their 2013 lineup looks pretty solid. And uh, keep in mind, this is a sub $20 knife. But for a sub $20 knife, I'm really, really impressed. You got to, I mean, when you're comparing to a Delica, when you're con comparing to a more expensive knife, this thing is going to be it's not going to stand against these. However, keep in mind this is an $18 knife, which I'm, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool for what it is. So the overall length on it, seven and a half inches. Blade length is three inches. This is a Tonto style blade made from 9CR14 MOV steel. Ambidextrous, ambidextrous thumb stud. Try saying that three times fast. Kind of a thumb ramp there, a little bit of jimping. I like the design. It fits nicely in the hand. You can see that hand shot there. I like that little jimping there. Conforms to my hand. It feels very good. G10 scales on it. And you can see kind of the machining that they've put into those scales, the texturing. I also like, I mean, it's, it's ambidextrous, but it's kind of, it's definitely designed for right-handed. It's uh, got that liner lock there with the jimping on it. And it, you've kind of got an indent there so that when you're snagging that. But I mean, man, Sub 20 bucks, I'm pretty impressed. Here's, let me show you a blade play on it. Side to side, little bit. Front to back, straight out of the box, nothing. So, kind of cool. I mean, yeah, I, I keep saying sub $20, but uh, it is. I mean, for what you pay and what you get, this is a pretty darn cool knife. I want to make that clear. It's got a lanyard hole there on the bottom. A little bit of jimping there on the, the spine as well. The weight on it is 4.8 ounces, so it's kind of heavier. That's one thing I noticed in comparison to my Delica. Delica is super light with the FRN handles, and uh, this one is definitely much more heavy. The uh, closed length, well, let me show you a comparison there. Kind of a size comparison. The Delica is much skinnier in the hand. Uh, it's got that nice thumb ramp there compared to that one. This one's a lot more tactical, obviously with the Tonto blade, that sort of thing. So just to kind of give you an idea of something that you're familiar with, if you are familiar with the Delica. Deep carry pocket clip, I like that. I'm a deep carry fan. One thing about the Delica that I wish was different, and I've thought about this, it, I wish I had a different pocket clip on it that uh, was deeper carry because, man, yeah, that's just my personal preference. I, I don't really like to show people that I'm carrying a knife if I can help it, just... That's kind of my, my style, personally. Now that pocket clip isn't reversible at all. Uh, tip down carry only. And uh, you're probably gonna wanna know how it looks in the pocket, so here's a shot for you. Give you an idea, an idea of what it looks like. Deep carry, like I mentioned. I like the flick on it. Flick opens nicely with that thumb stud. Let me show you a detent. I think if there's one spot where this particular knife could use a little bit more love, is in the detent. I mean, it's it's decent on this one, not the greatest, and when it is closed, that detent has a little bit of wiggle in it. But uh, this other one, this is the uh, partially serrated version. That was one thing I really noticed here, is the detent is not the greatest in the world by any means. So, and this one doesn't flick as well either, and that might be part in part to the uh, detent. So, Anyway, partially serrated, you gotta get a look at that one. But for what it is and what you pay for it, I'm pretty impressed with this particular knife. It's the Strayed 102 Tonto Folding Knife Bead Blast uh, blade on it. What else? Closed length on it is four and a half inches. Let me give you a quick shot compared to the tactical clothespin. Bam, right there. And we'll get you the handle thickness on this is 0.49, just under an inch. Blade thickness. On the spine is 0.11 inches, and on the blade right near the tip, 0.05. Let me give you a quick shot of this in my hand with gloves on. 
Like I said, I like, I really do genuinely like how it fits in the hand without gloves on. And with gloves on, it's pretty comfortable as well. I've got probably regular sized hands, medium sized hands. So give you an idea there. And then let's check the grind angle on this particular one. I'm going to guess it's probably around 17 and a half ish. Yeah, right around 15 and a half, 16 right in there. Uh, degrees is what we're talking about there. So anyway, pretty cool knife. And uh, I wanted to take a look at these trade knives simply because the boxes look cool. But uh, upon opening them and, and taking a look, I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised. I mean, like I said, sub $20 knife, you get what you get. But uh, this could be a great starter knife for a kid. Or if you're just looking for something you can beat on and feel good about, this is going to be a great option. So Anyway, check it out on BladeHQ.com. That is the place to buy it. Buy it now on BladeHQ.com.